Hello IT pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is your boy Alvendril. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add more USB ports to a desktop computer. So the one I'm going to use for this um, video is the Dell Optiplex 3040. But this process works for any other model, the, the desktop computer that you build, HP, Lenovo, doesn't make a difference. As long as it's a desktop computer and it has the required slot. So, uh, this is a medium size, as, like I mentioned, it's not super big, it's not super small. And I have done a video in the past about the up upgrading the BIOS version of this model. So if you're interested in that, you can click on the top right of this screen. So now I'm going to proceed to open the case. So we, we're going to find out if we have what we need on this model. So as you can see here, uh, this is the desktop computer and I, I'm not wearing any jewelry or watches and, and I'm going to discharge myself or of any ele static electricity I might have in my body by touching the case for a few seconds. So you have the fan, the hard drive and the, um, and the um, charger. So if I do a close up, this is the one we need, the PCIe Express. This is the one, it's very small as you can see it there. If you have this port available, you can add more USBs to this one to this model. Um, so the, if you're wondering what the blue one is, that's the video card, that the, that's the slot for the video card. So now, uh, as you can see, it's there. So we have the requirements complete. So we have an available PCIe Express. So I'm going to show you this one, I, I remove it. This one is the one we're going to remove in a few more minutes. So we have all that in place. So the device we're going to use, or the brand is Firm Feb Smart. So I'm going to open it and we're going to see what it has. So this is the PCIe Express card that we're going to add. As you can see here, so it's uh, purple. It comes in black and purple, so this is the color I like. And uh, what else is in the box? So this is the driver. If you're using Windows 10 8, you, might, you most likely are not going to need to install any drivers, but if you're using Windows XP and 7, most likely you will need it. So this is something else that's in, that is in the box, and this is the manual all the short manual but I'm going to show you something uh, this one has as you can see two USB ports 3.0 so you, if you have a bigger computer for example you can add up to four and um, I choose this small one uh, only two because it doesn't fit so it can fit on this model okay so that's the only reason I did it but there are other models that you can add if you have a bigger computer and we're going to replace it in a, in a few more seconds so now we're going to check uh, the manual. And uh, okay, this is this is the one we uh, uh, we're going to use in this video, the first one on the top. And these other two are the ones I, I was talking about. So it's the same process. If you're interested in that, if you want more USBs, like four, as you can see in the picture, uh, the links are going to be in the video description below for any of or of those models. So then you is telling you as well that the, you have to find an available PCIe Express on your uh, on your motherboard which we have so now uh, as I mentioned I'm going to uh, take it out from the box and this one over here I mean this adapter is too big it's not going to fit in this model so luckily it comes with this other smaller adapter so I'm uh, using my Phillips screwdriver I'm going to just remove it as you can see it has two screws over there so very, very quickly, I remove it. It's very easy. And I'm going to add, attach it to the smaller adapter. So this one is also a very straightforward process, but I made, I made some mistakes here. <laughs> My screw, one of the screws fell, and, so, and the other is going to fall as well, so I have to look for it. So, but you get the idea. And so you put it back, and now we have it like that. So now I'm going to do a close-up. And this is the one like I mentioned, and it has to fit. So as you can see, it's the same size. It has to fit with no problems. So I forgot to show you one thing. On this model, the way you remove the slots you want to add, well, to remove that kind of metallic part, is <laughs> like that. It's very easy. Depending on the model, it's going to be more or less difficult, but it's very straightforward in any other model. So you just uh, you very uh, carefully try to make it fit. You don't have to force it. Uh, it's very easy to do, as, do, as you can see there. You just press it a little and it's going to fit. And that's pretty much it. So now I'm going to show you how it looks. 
So if it's a little, a little skew, so you just move it like that, and you have to add the bolt that comes in the, um, in the box, but I didn't do it for this video because I, I really don't need it. But if you want it to be more firm, so you just add it. So now I'm going to, to close it like that. I'm going to secure everything. And now I'm going to clean a little. I'm going to allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera. And I'm going to connect it. Well, I'm going to turn it over so we can see everything. So there is the new one we have added a few seconds ago. Now those are the old ones that comes with the, lab, with the desktop computer. So I'm going to connect um, the video and the power. So as you can see, the power is working. And now I'm going to turn on the computer. So it's going to be a few seconds. You see the, the logo. And it's telling me that the keyboard is not connected. So I'm going to connect it. I'm going to connect a keyboard and a mouse while uh, the computer is loading. So as you can see here, I already connect them, not to the new one, not to the new one, to the old ones. So we're going to wait until uh, the Windows logo shows up. So after a few more seconds, the video sped up in some sections because it was taking a little longer. So there you go. And now I'm going to log into Windows. So here we are. So the computer is a little slow, not, not sure why. So I'm going to refresh it. And now uh, I took a picture and uh, I'm going to show you a few in, in a few more seconds. And now we, we have to go to device manager. So that's where we see all the new hardware that we have added and currently have on, a, on any computer, really on a laptop, desktop, doesn't make a different a difference as long as it's Windows. So now I'm going to type um, device manager. And we are going to, to see what it shows, but it was giving me some problems. It was a little slow, so that's not related with anything we are doing. And I'm going to try uh, one more time to look for device manager. So we click on the Windows uh, icon and device manager. So it's going to take a few seconds to find it and then we click on it going to take a few more seconds to load so now you look you look for USB which is normally the the last one so you click on that I'm going to adjust my camera now uh, I'm going to do a close-up then you see universal serial bus commander controller so here we see a new one so the rem remesses uh, I don't read it very well <laughs> USB so this was not here before. So this is the screenshot I took before I started creating the video. And we only have two here. So in this, uh, in the new one, this is a picture, a screenshot. We have an extra one, this one. So that means it's being recognized. The card that we have installed is being recognized. So we didn't have to install anything. So now the, the test, I'm going to add a USB to the new, any of the two new USB uh, ports. And right away, you're going to see that it's open. So as you can see here, it's working. I didn't click anything. I just connected to I just connected to the new port and it's working. So I'm going to click on this one. What is this? So this is a reminder for you to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. So if this doesn't work, like I mentioned, you have to install the driver. I'm going to leave the link in the description below for the, for the driver so you can download it or you can use the CD that comes in the box. So thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.